to say no to this obscene corporate welfare bill that is unacceptable. When we look at the reality of what's needed in this state, what's needed in this country, it's not $60 million going to uh, one of the most profitable companies in this country and in, the, and in the world. My name is Bruce Gagnon. I live here in Bath and I'm a member of Veterans for Peace. So while we keep hearing from Democrats across Maine that they think this is a bad bill, most of them at this moment say they're going to vote for it anyway. And my question is, why do these politicians run for office if they're going to run away from bills that they think are bad? Why do they fear voting against a bad bill? Why do they even run in the first place? Who do they really represent? As a business owner who has to build major condo developments, when I need some money for infrastructure, I go to the bank and I say, could I have some money to help with this project? And when they say to me, can I look at your books to see if you're profitable, if you're gonna be able to pay us back, if you're the type of business I wanna do business with, I show them my books. And what we're learning here is Bath Iron Works and General Dynamics is not willing to actually play that game. Can we have a little bit more transparency here, Bath Iron Works? You're gonna ask for $60 million? Show me why you need it. Our hard-earned tax dollars need to stay in the state of Maine, not going out to one of the most profitable companies in the country. This $60 million ask from BIW, I want to offer our state legislators a real, real clarity, um, a good reason to vote no against this. The truth is the business of war is a federal government responsibility. The business of war is the job of the federal government. We are a state. We need to get people off the streets and into homes and into productive lives. It is not going to happen if we give the, so much of our funds over to the business of war. The Pentagon spends well over $700 billion a year on the business of war. And those of us gathered know, but I want to acknowledge and honor Bruce's commitment now on his 20th day of a hunger strike.